and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some good stuff. I have the Pure Quick Pro Glitters and I have this little eye tutorial for you, a little review situation going on. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. So let me just go ahead and throw out my little disclaimer. These were sent to me, I did not buy them with my own money, but this video is not sponsored. I actually did a little Instagram collab with them, so they were sent to me. I am not getting paid to do this video. They actually didn't even ask me to do a video about them. I know how it gets on YouTube. People be tripping when you talk about a product that you didn't pay for, so I just wanna throw that out there straight to begin with. This is strictly my opinion because I really like these glitters. So anyway, now that I got that out of the way, let's just go ahead and jump in. These are the Pure Quick Pro Glitters. Now to my knowledge, they are a newer product. These are so freaking pretty. They remind me so much of the Stila Magnificent Metals and that was actually the biggest reason why I wanted to do this video. No hate to Stila, I love these. I put these in my Best of Beauty for 2017 and I will continue to spend my money on these because I think these are phenomenal. But for those of you who can't drop $24, $25, however much these are on one single glitter, I would highly suggest you check out the pure ones because they're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're pretty similar to the Stila ones. First, let's go ahead and start off with the price. I've seen them in store at Ulta and you can also get them on the pure website. So I'm actually on the pure website right now so I can just read to you how much they go for and like what they come with. So the set that they sent me was I believe the original set that they have. It just says online that it's the Quick Pro Glitter 5 Piece Eye Polish Kit. So. I did not get every single shade. The kit comes with five shades and I have four of the five. So I can't speak on the shade that I didn't get because I don't have it. And unfortunately, you can't buy them in singles. You have to buy the kit. So the kit retails for $39. Yes, it is kind of, you know, up there in price. It's not the cheapest thing. It would pretty much be like buying maybe one and a half, two of these. But with that being said, you do get five glitters that are just as good as the Stila ones. And surprisingly, these actually have more in them than the Stila ones. So you can see there is like an obvious size difference. This size difference is because of packaging. It's not because of the product inside. The Stila glitters have 0.153 ounces of product in them. And then the pure glitters have 0.19 ounces so it's not too too much of a difference but this does have more in it so hopefully that makes up for that difference in price and you get five glitters for the price of like I said one and a half or two of these if you break it down and do the math you're only paying eight dollars a glitter what you can't beat that that's like the price of a NYX like loose glitter. These don't crease, they don't move, and look at how sparkly my eyes are. They're so freaking gorgeous. I am in love with these. My only complaint that I have to say is I wish they didn't sell them in a set. I definitely wish they were sold individually, especially because you know, you might not like all the colors, you might not be able to spend $40 on a kit full of five glitters, maybe you just wanna buy one. So I kinda wish that they sold these individually, even if they did raise the price up a bit to maybe like 10, 11, $12. I would much rather them do that and then just charge them a little bit more for selling them in singles instead of charging them as a whole, especially if you're not a fan of all the colors. Like, for example, this color right here, this is the color Namaste beautiful color. I really like it. I just have so many other colors like this that I don't feel like I need another one of these in my collection. I wish you had the option of buying them in singles, even if they did raise them up a little bit more in price. Let me just go over the shades with you guys. The one that I actually have on my eye today is OMG. This is a really pretty bronzy shade. I love this one. And then the next one that I have is Queenie, which is what I actually have on my inner corner. And it's more of like a yellowish champagne shade. 
And then I have Namaste. This is the one I was just talking about. It's this really pretty pinkish champagne. And then I have Lust. And this is like right up my alley. One of my favorite colors to go in with on the lid. They have a very different applicator than the Stila one. Kind of like a small plastic doe foot, but without the soft material over it. It's actually just completely plastic. I think I like this a little bit more just because you can really get in there and carve out the lid like very, very exact. You can do the same thing with the Stila shadows. I don't have an issue carving out the lid, but because this is more of like a soft material on the Stila ones, you can't get 100% of an exact like perfect like cut lid kind of look. Just because it has that kind of soft squishy material on top. They don't dry quite as fast as the Stila ones. They take a little bit longer. I feel like the Stila ones dry pretty much instantly. I do have a little bit of a hooded lid so I actually looked up and it got up into my crease and I honestly could not blend it out to save my life. I had to keep going in over with my darkest crease shade and you can still kind of see it. So you do have to be careful to let it dry 100% before you actually look up or do anything like that because once it's on, it's honestly on. I've done that before with the Stila ones and I was just able to go in with my brush and blend it out and it was fine. So, you know, each has their pros and cons. I'm not gonna compare them like 100% and say one is better than the other because I love them both. I just like them both for different reasons. So I did find two dupes. Now, I don't have the whole collection of these Stila Magnificent Metals, but I'm gonna just show you guys the dupes that I have in my collection. So the first one is Kitten Karma. I'll show you the Stila one on top and then the pure one on the bottom. So Kitten Karma I thought was so similar to Namaste. I think Kitten Karma is just a little bit more pink and Namaste is a little more champagne, but definitely, definitely a dupe. This one is Kitten Karma right here, and then this is Namaste. You can see that the Kitten Karma is maybe just a little bit more sparkly. These have a bit more of a sheen, but once you have them on the eye, I feel like the sparkle stands out so much. Definitely very similar. This is just a little more pink, and then this is just a little more champagne. And then for my other dupe, I have Smoldering Satin, which is the Stila one, and then OMG, which is the one I have on my lid today. These are more of like a, uh, not 100% a dupe, but I would say they have very similar undertones. So this one is Smoldering Satin, and then this is OMG. Like I said, they're not 100% the same. This is just a little more bronzy, but they're still kind of similar. Like, I feel like they're still in the same family. They can definitely be maybe a fraternal twins, possibly. I really have nothing bad to say about these shadows. I really like them. I actually saw that they have one other new kit. They have another one with different colors. They're like a little bit more on the colorful side, it looks like. It's more of like a colorful, like it has a few more pops of color, so. Yeah, I just thought I would let you guys know about that in case you're interested in trying something with a little more color. These are definitely good, you guys. Give them a shot if you can or if you're interested. They're really good. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link below. I'm gonna say purchase it from Ulta, especially if you have a rewards membership with them because if you're an avid makeup junkie shopper like I am, every time you buy from Ulta, you build points and you can redeem it for cash. So actually don't shop as much as Sephora anymore. Unless there's a brand at Sephora that I can't get at Ulta, I buy everything at Ulta. I just I have to recommend that. I'll go ahead and leave a link below for the kit at Ulta and then I'll also leave one for the Pure website if you want to buy it from them. Um, they're not affiliate codes. I don't make any money off of them. I'm just going to leave them for you guys so you can purchase them yourself if you want to. Look them up if you're interested even if you don't want to buy them and you just kind of want to look at swatches. You can look them up there. Let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorial and I'll show you guys how I got this eye look. Okay, first things first. I totally over plucked my eyebrows. This one is way thicker than this one. You guys, I messed up. We're gonna ignore that. I never ever do my face makeup first, but I did today. So I'm just gonna take some of my petal from Kat Von D just to catch any of that fallout. So the first shadow I'm gonna take as my transition is this one right here. This is Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. I'm taking this with my big fluffy blending brush. I haven't used any of my Makeup Geek shadows in such a long time. Their shadows are really good. I really, really love them and they're really affordable too. 
So with my Sigma E25 brush, I had to check because for whatever reason, numbers just don't stick with me. I'm gonna take this shade also from Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Latte. This is not quite as warm as Creme Brulee. It's actually, I wouldn't necessarily say it's cool toned. It's actually just pretty neutral. There's not really any warmth to it whatsoever. I would say this is definitely more of a neutral shade. I want this to be a little smoky, but not too smoky. So that's why I'm going in with two pretty light shades as my transition. I'm just gonna build this up until it's at the intensity that I want. And then I'm gonna just go back in and blend these two together. And then for my last shade, I'm gonna take my little Avon crease brush. I always use this brush in my videos. I'm gonna go in with Mocha. It's just a deeper dark brown. It's definitely more on the neutral side versus a warm brown, like maybe something like Embark or something like that from MAC. So I'm gonna take this shade and I'm just gonna kinda carve out my crease. I always look straight into the mirror and lay down the color. I know I've mentioned before when I do videos, I kinda just like to stick to one theme. I don't like to really jump around from different palette to palette just in case you wanna recreate an exact look or I'm doing a video on a palette that you already have then you can just use all the same shadows and you don't have to use a bunch of different shadows or palettes. I decided to do Makeup Geek today, and that's what we're doing. I'm gonna go in and blend it out. I'm just going in with Latte again, and I just wanna kinda reinforce this lighter neutral right above Mocha. I don't want the darkness to really take over. I wanna see a gradient of colors. I actually already did my brow highlight off camera. I totally forgot to film it, to be honest with you. So I just used Shimma Shimma. This is also from Makeup Geek. Um, it kind of reminds me of nylon, just not quite as icy. This is a little more champagne. And I just took that with a little Eco Tools brush and I went right under the brow bone. Let's just apply a little bit more, just so I can show you guys. Just right under here. Just make the brow a little more lifted. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Glitter Glue. It is unreal how long I've actually had this tube. I've seriously had this for like three years. Probably should throw it away at this point, but it still works, so I'm not gonna do that because this was expensive. I'm just gonna take a little dab actually on the back of my hand. You can see it's just a teeny tiny bit. We're not going in with too much because this stuff is actual glue like it's legit glue so you don't want to go too crazy with the glitter glue and I'm actually gonna take this little brush you can take any flat brush that you have and I'm just gonna use this to carve out my lid I can't say necessarily that you have to use a glitter glue with these glitters because I honestly always use a glitter glue no matter what I'm going in with if there is glitter involved whatsoever I will always go in with the glitter glue. I even do that with the Stila Magnificent Metals just because I honestly just don't want glitter falling onto my face. I just don't like to take that risk with these types of things. I don't think you necessarily have to have it to make it grab, but for me personally, um, I just don't want the chance of the glitter falling onto my face, so I always use a glitter glue no matter what. For my lid color, I'm gonna go in with this bronzy one right here. This is in the shade OMG, and I'm just gonna apply it straight with the applicator. Now this is actually just a plastic applicator. It doesn't have a doe foot or a sponge or anything like that. I like it because you can just kind of carve out the lid so perfectly. I can actually carve out my lid a little better with this than I can with the Stila one because it's such a perfect rounded tip. So I'm just gonna lay this down. My only complaint is that it comes out a tiny bit patchy and I think that's definitely because of the applicator. I have tried these with a brush and they work just as well with a brush. I don't have good luck using these Stila ones as much with a brush. I feel like they go on a little more patchy. You have to work to build a little bit more. But these, I feel like, work really, really well with a brush. If you don't want to go in with your finger or you don't want to go in with this applicator, these work nicely with a brush. So they both definitely have their pros and cons. To be honest, I love them both. and. I'll still continue to use both of them because there's so many different colors, but I'm just, I'm really liking these. I like these a lot. I think they're really nice. I'm going to take a little bit of black shadow from this palette. This is the 
NYX Fire Palette. I did a whole review and tutorial on this palette. If you guys are interested, you should check it out. This is a really, really nice palette. And I believe I saw it on sale for like 15 bucks. I'm just going to actually line the top of my lash line. This is solely to hide my false lashes. We're gonna go in with a little mascara. For my lashes, I'm gonna take these right here. These are by a company called 3D Mink Lashes, and this is in the style of D22. My sister lives overseas in the Middle East, and she actually gets these from a lady over there who sells these lashes. I don't know a lot about the brand. I don't know if it's her brand or if she just sells them. If you wanna dupe, these are very similar to the Queen Bees by Coco Lashes. I think these are just a little longer and they're a little thicker, but they definitely have that wispy effect that Coco Lashes do. But I'm gonna go ahead and link her Instagram page below so you guys can check it out. I think she only does Instagram orders from what my sister said. I know there's some girls who watch me who live in the Middle East where my sister lives and I'll just go ahead and link them below because I really like their lashes. I'll do some research if I can find out where they're sold here in the US I will definitely link them below but as far as I know they're only sold in the Middle East. My sister told me that her friend actually told her that she saw them in a beauty supply in Houston so let me do some research I'll see what I can find out and then I'll link them below because I think these are definitely worth it from what my sister said they're really not that pricey at all I think she said they're like $10 or less. I'm gonna take my E17 brush from Morphe. I'm gonna take this brush with a little bit of latte, and I'm just going to swipe this on the lower lash line. I'm also gonna kinda connect it to the shadow on the outer V, just to make it a little more dramatic. And then with my flat brush, I'm gonna take Mocha, which is the dark brown that I used, I'm just gonna press this right along the lower lash line. I'm gonna add some definition. I'm gonna take that same E17 brush and I'm gonna dab a little bit of latte and mocha together. And we're gonna blend out that harsh line. Some mascara on the lower lashes. I'm gonna take this really pretty yellowy goldish shade. This is in the shade Queenie, and this is what I'm gonna use for my inner corner highlight. Now for this part, I definitely went in with a brush because I don't like this applicator to go in and lay down the inner corner. It's just not ideal for me because I don't wanna overdo the inner corner. I'm gonna take my little Eco Tools brush. This is the one I always use for my inner corner. First, I'm gonna lay it down and just kinda initially lay down the product. I'm gonna wipe it off, and then just kinda go in and diffuse it so it's not so hot. I'm just gonna do my lips off camera and then we will be right back. I'm gonna be using my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Sandstorm. This is the one that I got in my haul. And then for my lipstick, I'm gonna be going in with this Smashbox Liquid Lip and stepping out. I'm gonna do this off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you took the time out of your day to watch this video, it may be annoying. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think if you have tried them before. And actually, let me know if you tried the other set, the more colorful set. I'm interested to see how those work. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up before you leave. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm just gonna go in and Excuse me, Charlie. No self-control. None whatsoever. Oh, fuck. Everything I could have ever needed. All in this bag of chips. Suede liquid li liquid. My NYX suede matte liquid sandstorm. This was in my haul. I've only... So I'm gonna take... <laughs> fuck. I can't even do it. Guess I'm not using that today.